Hi, my name's Olivia Tully and I'm here today to talk about my behaviour as a consumer. My most recent purchase is a black aviator coat from Warehouse. I recognised I needed to buy this coat due to the cold weather outside. It is very thick and furry, meaning it keeps me warm during winter. Once I had recognised that I needed to buy this coat, I decided it would be a good idea to do an information search. This meant that I would ask other people that shop at Warehouse if it was good value for money and if the quality of the clothes were good. This meant I could research if they had different colours or sizes in the coat and to make sure that I had the one that I wanted. Due to me working at Warehouse, I was able to ask colleagues that I know already have the coat if it was good quality and if it was good for the use that I wanted, which was to keep me warm in winter. In the end, it was found that it was easier for me to buy in store. This is because I could try it on whilst at work and could buy it there and then. I was also able to get an extra 20% off the coat as it was already in the sale and I could use my employee discount. This meant that the coat was meant to be £99 and in the end I managed to get it for 15 which really swayed my decision to buy. When I evaluated my alternatives, I decided that I could have actually bought a different coat such as one that was longer to keep me warmer or one that had a hood as it's always raining in Leeds. However, due to me being a student and only working part time, I found it was more reasonable to buy the coat that was in the sale and that I could get 20% off on top of it. I would class buying this coat as a less frequent purchase. This is because I would usually buy a coat maybe every six months or two a year depending on the weather. Unlike things such as coffee which I might buy each day, which doesn't really have much thought put into it as it's cheap. Once I had bought the product and taken it home, I decided it would be a good idea to reevaluate my buying decision. The theory of cognitive dissonance is a theory of reevaluating opinion, opinions and attitudes on a product. From this, I have found that I am very happy with my decision of buying the product as I wear it all the time and I can wear it when I'm going out as it can be dressed up or during the day as it can be dressed down as well. The theory of planned behaviour is a theory that states that behaviour is due to someone's intention. A person's intentions can be led by their attitudes and subjective norms and also their perceived behavioural control. For example, when I bought my coat, I had already seen other people wearing it or other people wearing similar ones, so thought that it may be in fashion or on trend. Attitudes towards my behaviour is included in a theory of planned behaviour. For example, when I bought the coat, I thought about whether other people might like it or if it was in trend at the time. My buyer behaviour is also affected by subjective norms. This includes whether my friends, family or peers would like the coat and if they think it is nice or not. This is likely to tempt me to buy it or not. The third aspect is perceived behaviour control. This involves my past experience with the brand, as I know that me, myself, my peers, friends and family have all shopped at Warehouse before and all say that it's good quality and the products last for a long time. It can be quite expensive, however, you do get what you pay for. I have many clothes from Warehouse and don't have a problem with any as they are all good quality and I like wearing them a lot. A second theory is the self-concept approach. This finds that people may buy products or services as they think they resemble themselves or their own characteristics. The self-concept approach can also link to Maslow's hierarchy of needs. This includes physiological needs, safety needs, belongingness, esteem needs and self-actualisation. Each step must be met before self-actualisation can be achieved. Many marketing researchers believe that people only buy goods and services as a representation of their own selves. Therefore, many theories explain consumer purchasing behaviour differently and that many steps need to be taken before thinking about the product to actually buying it and taking it home. Thank you for watching my vlog, I hope you enjoyed it.